It ain't a needle in a vein It ain't backstage sex It ain't lines of cocaine on a private jet It ain't having a posse full of hangers on following you around Hey YouTube, it's Justin the Snap-On Junkie. How the fuck are you guys going today? So today, uh, this is another repair video. I know you guys don't like to watch these. You just want to see me get a bunch of tools and shit like that. But today we got to fix shit. So uh, we are working on the Cummins N14. And I'm going to show you, uh, I got a problem with the piston cooling nozzles. Now what these things are is there's this little plastic thing and they go into the side of the block and they have an o-ring on them well when we rebuilt this block it was pretty rusty so i ran uh you know the flapper wheel circle flapper wheel in there and it must have got the o-ring holes just a scotch big so the o-rings that come stock won't fit so we're gonna have to do some modifications so I'm going to try to bring you along on this as much as I can. I'm going to show you where this stuff is and how to fix it. And of course, it couldn't be the three back ones that are easy to fix. It's got to be the front three that are a mother fucking fucker. Just the only word you need to know about this is fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's fucked. So it's just a pain in the ass. Uh, Luckily, I've done these before on the truck, so I kind of know how to get to them, but it ain't real easy. You got to have a plethora of equipment to make this as simple as possible. So we'll get in there and we'll get started here. Okay, so where these piston cooling nozzles are is there's one here, uh, one hidden uh, back behind this fucking garbage and then one right behind the oil filter that's leaking. So what I'm gonna do is try to set this up uh, so you guys can see this here. Uh, let's see if we can get one of these out. We'll do the easiest one first. So. Oh. Somebody must have fucking put these on. Okay, let me get you right over there. Hold on here, guys. Okay, now we're going to need something different here. Somebody must have gorilla these motherfuckers on. you can see that but these suck so we're down in here let me just turn you shit this is not gonna work we'll just leave you right there okay so as you can see you know you gotta have a bunch of shit to get down in here and this fucker's probably gonna fall on the fucking ground I don't know how these other guys make this working on shit look so easy. But okay, so that's the first one there. Uh, I'll try to come down here and show you a better angle here. Okay, if you could see it, it's right there past that wire. You can kind of see where that bolt's missing in this little plastic circle thing. So we got that one. And then what we'll do is we'll move on to the next one. Uh, I probably won't be able to show you that one because it's hidden directly right there. If you can see, it's right here. Oh, uh, we got it on this one. Oh, motherfuck. All right. 
think I need to hire a film guy. What do you guys think? But anyway, uh, you get the gist of this. I'll show you when I get them popped off and uh, what they look like on the inside and stuff like that. Alrighty, so these are the piston cooling nozzles. Okay, and these are kind of, I think they're kind of hokey because they're plastic. Uh, so what they do is they only go in one way and then this shoots up oil, a stream of oil on the bottom of the piston uh, to keep the pistons cool and to lubricate the pan, but mainly it's just for piston cooling. And uh, you know, you can see it's got this wide fucking groove in there. So what we're going to do is take some measurements here and then uh, we'll get out some new O-rings and we'll try to figure out which ones go on there, if you will, and then we'll put them back in. But these things are a shitty, like, ABS plastic. It's probably nylon plastic glass reinforced, I'm sure. I don't know what the fuck they're made out of. But anyway, uh, that's the, you know, one, two, and three cylinder piston cooling nozzles. So then what we will do is uh, replace the O-rings and then put it back in. And uh, with the plethora of tools I own, these came out a lot easier than they did last time. But uh, only because the O-rings were not in there right. These should be in there really tight. And the O-ring is just too small that I put on there uh, and it doesn't fit right. So we have to fix it. Okay, so I got my O-ring kit out. And the ones that look like that fit the best to me are the silicone ones like that. Uh, they take up the whole thing and we should be able to get these in there. Uh, we're going to go test fit one just to make sure. But I know it's going to take up that whole groove. So we'll try these. You know, silicone is a little bit more malleable. Uh, we'll try these first. And... Uh, see if we can get those to go in the hole but that's all you do to slide them on there and then uh, we'll go figure out what we got to do to put them in a the truck all right guys let's clean out these holes with a little brake clean Fuck. hard to fucking move all this shit. Yeah, it's not good when you ain't got real good camera mounting, but we'll blow these off. got those kind of douched off uh, we'll go ahead and put I'll put the the two hard ones in first then I will show you this one uh, right there going in so let me get underneath this truck and get these things in all right well I got the hardest one in now we're just tightening it up the second hardest one here and you can tell that these fuckers are down in here in some fucked up position so that's that one uh, also I had to change the o-rings out to two to a different size those 3 8 ones are too thick and it's a 3 32nd o-ring and I have this measured out as 7 8 so uh, kind of see this thing go in there maybe maybe not so we gotta change all right now these o-rings take a little bit of a push to get them to go in and that's what we want uh, the ones that 
came out just fell right out. But anyway, let's fucking shove this thing in there. It's kind of hard to do this and film at the same time, I'm not going to lie. Like a glove, boys. Well, all I can say is if I did this as flat rate, I would... Oh, come on. Oh, shit. I had to maybe get back underneath this thing. There we go. All right. See if I can get this oh, fucking started. Let me see what we got going on here. Fuck me! God, I just keep dropping shit. So it takes a little bit to get these lined up. They only, you know, get they only go in one way. Uh, by how they're keyed, but it takes a little bit to get these bolts uh, through all the shit. And people who watch my videos say my hands are too clean to be a mechanic. Look at them motherfuckers. Alright. Well, I kind of fucked myself here. Let me get... There we go. There we go. Let me get my... You know, you got to get your tongue in the right place. And then it goes right in. Hold on here, mother. God damn. All right, now I drop the, the wrench. Let me get my driver to get my socket. Hold on here, guys. Sorry. You know, this is the struggle, you know people out there the struggle is real here uh, at Justin Sturgill trucking you know uh, we uh, we have serious serious struggles but I think so does everybody else all right so now that we got those bolted back in that's really all that it is to there so We'll get this stuff out of the way in our lights and uh, all that stuff. Then what we will do is we're going to go start this thing up and then check to make sure we ain't got no goddamn leaks, which we'll be able to tell pretty quick. Well, that's how you change uh, piston cooling nozzles or change the O-rings on piston cooling nozzles on an N14 Cummins. It's on the passenger side underneath the turbo, underneath uh, the oil cooler, uh, fucking turbo, fucking everything. Uh, they're up on the side of the block, but that's how you change the O-rings. I don't know if I showed you guys this before, but, you know, we used some top fuel 101 you know brake clean and air compressor one so that was fun but anyway 
Uh, I think that's it for this video. Uh, we got no leaks and everything like that. Uh, we won't be able to tell, you know, just letting it run the five minutes that I did, but there is nothing pouring out from underneath it. So, you know, like always, guys, uh, go to the Instagram, uh, the Snap On Junkie. Uh, go follow me there. Also on the Snap On Collectors on Facebook. You can follow us there. That's me and Joel's Facebook group. And then also, uh, stickers should be coming out next week. Uh, you probably see this video on Monday. They're supposed to be done Tuesday of next week, so I'll get a video right out from that. But you might want to check on uh, the snaponjunkie.com on Wednesday, and we will have the stickers up there uh, for sale. Uh, these are going to be a little bit more expensive. I got some better ones coming, so check it out there. And we're going to have a deal where if you buy all of them, uh, you know, you're going to get free shipping again, but it's just easier if I, you know, you get whatever color you want. If you buy all four or five of the stickers that I got, you know, you're going to get a little bit better of a deal. But anyway, uh, like always, guys, thanks for watching. It ain't a needle in a vein. It ain't backstage six.